everyone, it is Patrick and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am showing you all how you can make the Starbucks peppermint mocha at home. It is the holiday season. Like what? This year has blown by. Like where did 2022 go? Where? Well, so now we have our favorite Starbucks drinks that we can only get during this time of year. Actually, you can technically get the peppermint mocha year round. They have the mocha sauce, they have the peppermint syrup. Like, they pretty much have everything. You might not be able to get like the sprinkle, like chocolate topping thing, but other than that, you can have this year round, but it just doesn't hit the same. I really only get into peppermint mochas like November, December, maybe January but other than that I have other drinks I want to go to but it's a holiday staple it is so unbelievably easy to make yourself we are living in rough economic times Ooh, it's rough out here and Starbucks is just becoming more and more inaccessible to like a lot of people so the best solution if you still want that Starbucks fix is to just make it yourself the ingredients are are pretty much the same and I think it tastes even better in a lot of cases if you just make it yourself. I am so excited to show you all how you can make this recipe using a Nespresso machine, Nespresso maker, either or. But seriously, it is beyond easy to make your favorites at Starbucks using this machine. I have several videos lined up after this and pretty much all of them are going to be featuring this machine. This is not sponsored. I wish it was. I always wish it was. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to need to make for this drink is the actual peppermint syrup. Now, you could go about this one of two ways. You could either do what I'm doing and make it from scratch. It's just a lot more fun this way. Plus, like, you know what's going into it, so that's comforting. But you could also go ahead and pick this up. Tarani has a great peppermint syrup. There are a lot of different brands out there. I will have some linked down below. If if you want to skip this step and just buy it pre-made, I totally get it. And it will still taste amazing. It's just making it from scratch is beyond easy. Like if this was a hassle, I would not be doing it, trust. So we're gonna start out by making a simple syrup, which is just equal parts sugar and water. So in a microwave safe cup like this one, you're gonna put half a cup of granulated sugar. And then you're gonna pour in half a cup of water. We are just going to pop this right in the microwave and let the sugar completely dissolve. Also, you could totally do this over the stove. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is literally just like a sweetener that goes in a lot of different drinks, but in order to make it work for our drink, we need to add flavor. So that comes in the form of peppermint extract. This is pure peppermint extract, like 100%. You can find this in the grocery store. You can find it online. I will have it linked down below as well but this stuff is really strong like really strong a little goes a long way so we are going to add half a teaspoon of the peppermint extract to the simple syrup mm, it smells so good and the re oh okay that's like strong so the reason that we add this in after we like put it in the microwave is because extract when it's like heated up it just like evaporates so we would be left with like very little peppermint flavor but if you add it in afterwards, it has all the flip. Oh my god. Ooh, maybe like do it from like afar. But when you add it in afterwards, all of the flavor stays in. And we love that. So you can just stir it in. And that's how you make peppermint syrup. Like you all can do this. It is so simple. And if you are a peppermint mocha lover, please feel free to like double this, triple this. Whatever you don't use, just like bottle it up and put it in the fridge. It will last like around two, three weeks. So you can make a big batch and just keep it in there so that way you aren't having to make this every single day Okay, so now we are ready to start building this drink or like getting it together So I'm going to be making a grande iced peppermint mocha today If you want to make this hot then just like heat up the milk and if you want this like bigger or smaller then just adjust the measurements so the first thing i'm going to put into the cup is four tablespoons of our peppermint syrup four 
loves it. And this is a mocha, so the next thing we are going to add is chocolate sauce. This is the dark chocolate sauce from Tarani. I've tried a few different chocolate syrups or sauces in this drink, and this is always the one I go back to. It is so good, and I will have it linked down below, but there are a lot of different options at the store and online. And there's actually quite a bit of chocolate in this drink as well. Oh, lovely. So I'm gonna add in between like two and three tablespoons. Um, yeah, three. Okay, so our chocolate and peppermint is ready to go in the cup. So the next thing we have to add is our espresso. Let's go ahead and make that. Okay, so this is my new espresso maker that I love like so much. So literally all you have to do is put this little pod into the thing right here, push it down and we will have two shots of espresso ready in no time. Oh, and I think you have to press this. Oh my gosh, was that not like so easy and so fun? So I will just take my espresso shots and put them right into the Starbucks cup. Mm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Love it. And now because the chocolate sauce in here is a little bit thick, I'm just gonna give it like a swirling motion just to help that warm espresso break down the chocolate sauce so that it's just mixed evenly throughout our drink. Yay. Okay, so that's all mixed in and now the next thing that we are going to add to this is milk. Now like I said I'm doing an ice drink but if you want like a hot peppermint mocha people love those. Um just go ahead and heat up the milk but I like my drinks iced. So I'm just going to pour the milk to the top line here. Um, I would say it's about like three quarters of a cup to a cup. Here I'm using 2% but you could use like oat milk, almond milk, literally any kind of milk. Okay, so we added our milk. Now the next thing we have to add is some ice. Okay, so we have our ice in here. Now the last thing we have to do is add our toppings. Now, any good peppermint mocha has a lot of whipped cream. So I'm just using like pre-made whipped cream. And to top it off, I got some chocolate curls from Amazon. I will have them linked down below. These look like very similar to the ones that Starbucks use. So, so happy to find those, but you could use like chocolate chips, sprinkles, literally whatever. Just anything to make it look like more Oh my gosh! It literally looks like I got this right from Starbucks. Love it. Okay, let me put the lid on. Let's give this a try. I'm so excited. Mmm, okay. My drinks with the espresso taste a billion times better since buying this new machine. Oh my gosh, it tastes so similar to one from Starbucks. Like, it's wild. Peppermint and chocolate are such a good combination. Oh my gosh, it is perfect for winter. Can you all believe we literally just made this at home? Like, we didn't have to go to Starbucks. We have to like pay a billion dollars. So, so simple, but so, so good. But if you are a peppermint mocha lover out there, please, please, please be sure to try this for yourself. You will not regret it. I will have the full recipe down below as well as links to products I used in this video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you loved today's video. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm at the Patrick Meyer, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.